subscribe to the motivate channel click on the bell icon and hit that like button Hi guys and welcome to Motor Beam. Designing a full fed motorcycle isn't an easy task, but Yamaha has shown it time and again that they can do a fantastic job. Case in point is the R15, which is such a splendid looking motorcycle. It's a small 150cc machine, but yes, it does have a presence of a middleweight super sport. But now Yamaha hasn't done that well with the design of the Phaser 25, which although gets a full fairing, isn't that attractive. Based on the FZ25, let's find out what's different on this motorcycle. The Phaser 25 is similar to the FZ25, but it has got changes on the front and the side. because this one gets a full fairing unfortunately it looks too busy while the headlight has been carried over yamaha has given this a very revolutionary feature that's dual led lights one on each side of the headlight which helps in touring because people can easily spot you on the road the phaser 25 also gets a windscreen visor which isn't of much use because it doesn't do a good job of deflecting wind thus there's a lot of wind blast at high speed this motorcycle also gets bearing mountain mirrors which gives a better view of what's behind however if you're wearing a riding jacket you might not really appreciate these mirrors the other issue is that when you turn lock to lock your hand tends to touch the mirror our test motorcycle is equipped with this red and golden color scheme which isn't that marvelous it might remind you of iron man but i personally prefer superman The all digital instrument cluster of the Phaser 25 has been lifted from the FZ 25. It gets a speedometer, a tachometer, a fuel meter and a single place which shows you odometer, twin trip meters, a clock, real time mileage and average fuel efficiency. Unfortunately, being in a single place it means you can only view one thing at a time, which means even if you have to see the time, you have to toggle the switch. The other problem is there is no gear position indicator. Yamaha seriously Even 150 cc motorcycles have that. The Phaser 25 is powered by the same engine which does duty on the FZ 25, but Yamaha has made no changes to this engine, which means it produces the same power and torque output as the FZ 25. Low end performance is very good. It feels very punchy lower down. and the thrust in the mid range is also very exciting but the top end is lacking and it redlines at just 9 and a half thousand rpm in terms of smoothness this motor is butter smooth lower down it feels very refined but as you get past 7000 rpm the vibes start to creep in in abundance the phaser 25 has been positioned as a touring motorcycle by yamaha So when you enter the highway you would expect a lot more punch when compared to the FZ25. All that you get is 2 km per hour of extra top speed thanks to the fairing which aids in aerodynamics. This motorcycle is quick to get to the turn and reaches 125 in a flash but post that it tends to struggle a lot. Yamaha has given it a revolutionary feature and don't you think I'm searching for the sick gear because this one gets dual horns which will help in touring while the 5 speed gearbox is quite smooth to operate the light clutch has quite a lot of play this motorcycle offers a good balance between ride and handling the ride quality although on the stiffer side is quite compliant but the issue is that it doesn't remain very stable at high speed 
This motorcycle's tires offers good grip, but around corners, it's not very sharp and doesn't offer that much feedback as you would expect from a Yamaha motorcycle. However, in the city, it's quite nimble and flickable, but not as much as the FZ25. Yamaha has said that it will only offer ABS in India when it's mandatory and this motorcycle also misses out on it. While braking performance is decent, we would have expected ABS at least as an option. Yamaha has gone from bulbs to all LEDs on this motorcycle but unfortunately it hasn't gone the full hog of offering projectors. This motorcycle offers inadequate throw at night, the light although bright doesn't offer a good range. The pillion seat on the Phaser 25 is just about adequate but not so for long rides. It doesn't get any sort of hooks to mount your luggage and the tank itself is of fiber which means that you cannot clip a tank back here. And even if you try to mount a bag on the tank, this tank has just too many cuts and creases so it just won't fit. This motorcycle sound isn't that great, here is how it sounds. The FZ25 is a fantastic motorcycle, which begs the question, why would you need the Phaser 25? Well, for the fairing loving crowd, Yamaha has launched this motorcycle and positioned it as a torer. But don't you believe them, because lack of highway performance, a 5-speed gearbox, and most importantly, the lack of ABS isn't a touring motorcycle in any sense. If you want a tourer, probably you should opt for something like a Bajaj Domina 400 or even a Royal Enfield Thunderbird 500. But if you want a motorcycle for the city with occasional highway rides, then the Phaser 25 will make a lot of sense. But take my advice, just go for the FZ25, save that money and get yourself good riding gear. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, that's the thumbs up button, and also subscribe to the Motorbeam channel.